You guys are going to have to pardon my lips throughout the review portion of this video because I just finished lip swatching all 25 of these and whew, my lips are bleeding. <laughs> Shawnee, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have the most requested review video I have ever been asked to do in the history of my entire channel. And that is saying something because literally hundreds of you have asked me to review the new ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. ColourPop jumped on the liquid lipstick bandwagon and released 25 brand new shades of their long wearing liquid lipstick. These retail for $6 a piece and they are a permanent part of the ColourPop line. I know these products released a couple of weeks ago and I wanted to get this review video up for you guys earlier, but if you follow me on any other social media, you guys know what happened. Once my package was shipped from ColourPop, it got lost. The post office just loves me and decided that it wanted me to wait and anticipate this package for a whole two weeks. So I literally just got this package in the mail a couple of days ago. Ever since then, I have been testing, swatching, playing, trying as many of these as I can. And I figured it wouldn't make a big difference that this video is a little late because all of these liquid lipsticks are currently sold out on the ColourPop website. ColourPop did make an official announcement on Twitter saying they will restock this line in the beginning of August. So that gives you a couple of weeks to watch this video and narrow down your picks so you know which ones to pick up when they restock. Now I do have a very strong opinion on the formulation of this product so I do want to make it very clear that this is going to be a very good review from all of the other ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip product videos I've seen on YouTube, especially people who got them sent for free. I did not, but for people who did get them sent for free, I haven't seen anybody actually review the formula. I have seen so many people just go through and do lip swatches of all of the colors, which as helpful as that is, that's super helpful, but if we don't know how the formula is, whether or not we'll actually like the formula, what's the point of even seeing the colors? I will be doing lip swatches of all 25 of the colors that ColourPop released. That will be a little bit towards the end of the video though, because I want this to be more of a formula review, which I feel like nobody else has done. Jumping right into what the packaging looks like, it's a pretty standard liquid lipstick tube. It does say ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip on the side in that holographic writing. At the bottom you do have the name of the product on a little sticker. The tube just twists open like this and you know it comes with a standard doe foot applicator. Nothing too fancy or anything like that. I will say that I have heard that some of these tubes leak so I have been really careful to kind of put in the applicator really slowly because if you just dunk the applicator in really quickly it's going to cause air bubbles in the product and it's going to start spurting out the top. So if you put the applicator in and out of the tube really carefully, you won't get as many air bubbles. The main point I want to hit on in this video is the formula of this product. It is an incredibly thin, almost watery feeling liquid lipstick when you put it on. It does not have the same consistency as something like the Stila Stay All Day liquid lipsticks or like the Dose of Colors lipsticks. Those are almost like a moussey cream. These are like super liquidy. While all of the colors do deliver a nice strong punch of pigmentation, some of them do go on pretty streaky and pretty patchy and I do note those in the individual lip swatches as I go through them. I tell you which ones are more patchy than others. But honestly, out of the 25 that are offered, only about five to eight of them were truly nice and opaque and pigmented and not patchy. Now this formula does dry down incredibly, incredibly matte. These are some of the most drying, long wearing liquid lipsticks I have ever tried. And you guys know I have tried so many different formulas, if not most of the formulas that are really popular on the market. These are probably some of the most drying. And because they dry down 
so matte and so dry these actually flake and crumble off of your lips the best way I have found to apply these is to apply a really thin layer and keep your lips kind of like this so all of the little cracks and creases in your lips get lip product in them and then leave your smile like that until they dry so they don't get super cracky and creasy. Most of the time when you apply a light layer, there will be patchiness and streakiness, but if you decide to go in with a second layer to even out the pigmentation, that's when you're gonna get some serious caking, cracking, and flaking issues. If you apply even a little bit more than you should of these products, they are going to completely crumble off of your lips. They will go into your mouth, they will get onto your chin, they just kind of crumble everywhere. And at the end of the day, your lips will look like a lizard skin. As with all liquid lipsticks, you do want to apply these over freshly exfoliated and moisturized lips so you get the smoothest application possible. Otherwise, these will definitely cling on to all of the dry patches. So honestly, the end result with these is either you're going to get a streaky, patchy look on the lips, or if you decide I'm going to build it up to get opaque color and to make it not look patchy, you're going to have cracks and flakes of lip products coming off throughout the day. There's not a real happy medium with these products. Now because of that, I personally do not like these. I can't recommend them. My two all-time favorite liquid lipstick formulas are the Stila Stay All Day liquid lipsticks and the Kat Von D Everlasting liquid lipsticks. I absolutely love those and I can see where ColourPop was going in a nice affordable liquid lipstick option because the other two formulas I mentioned are in the $20 price tag. For the price of one of the Kat Von D Everlasting liquid lipsticks, you could get three ColourPop lipsticks and still have change left over. So in that sense, these are definitely you know, financially friendly. But if it was me, I would honestly just save up and get one really good liquid lipstick, one that will honestly last throughout the day, won't give you any issues, won't be as drying as these, and won't crack and flake off of your lips. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the individual lip swatches that I did of all 25 of the shades that ColourPop offers, because I did do a small individual review on each of the formula so you guys will know which ones are better than the others so let's jump into it vice is a very 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 light light peachy nude color this one is extremely patchy extremely streaky and I have seen this color on so many different skin tones and to be honest doesn't really look good on anybody. Midi is another pretty light nude brown color. This one is pretty, it goes on significantly better than the last one I showed, but it is still a light color, so it can still look a little streaky or patchy. Shimmy is a light nudish pink type color. This one is pretty, and this one actually did go on not too streaky or patchy, but it does kind of crack a little bit when it's on your lips. So Low is a light to medium pink color, like a neutral pink. This one is really pretty. This one actually went on really nicely, and it's one of the least kind of cracky colors in the collection. This one doesn't flake as much as the other ones. This one I could recommend. Trap is another one of my favorite ones. This one is the Lime Crime Cashmere dupe that everybody's been talking about. It's a gorgeous, nudie, mauve purple type color, kind of like that grayish, your lips are dead, but it's still kind of pretty color. First base is kind of like a medium rosy pink color. This one is another really flattering shade. I really liked the way this one applied as well. Donut, which is probably the cutest name you could name a lip product, is a really pretty, bright, vibrant, peachy, pinky coral color. This one is extremely, extremely patchy though. It looks very patchy on the lips. Bumble is probably my favorite lip color shade so far. This is an absolutely gorgeous, medium, terracotta type nude color and this one goes on very nicely not streaky or patchy not too 
cracky in the lips. I really do like this one a lot. Pacific is a bright tangerine orange color. This is the brightest orange they have in the collection. And Lord have mercy on this color. It is so, so streaky and patchy. And this is just, I wish I could apply a second layer of this, but then it would start cracking. Don't like this one. Ouija is a really, really bright, reddish, vibrant coral color. This one is gorgeous, but this is another one with that formula issue of being patchy and streaky and the color is like edible. I love the color. Succulent is all sorts of bad. This is an awful lippy. This is a very, very bright, beautiful color, beautiful, bright, vibrant red, fire engine red color, but this one is like so sheer and streaky and patchy. I thought this was like a jelly finish when I was putting it on. It's not good. Buds is a super, super bright, in your face, Barbie pink color. But this one, once again, pretty streaky, kind of sheer in spots. Not a super great formula on this one. Sunday is a bright hot pink with blue shimmery duochrome in it. This is the only shade out of all 25 that has any sort of reflect in it. All the other ones are cream. And this one is really beautiful. It does go on really evenly, but it's not super pigmented. So while it's not patchy or streaky, you can see a little bit of your natural lip color peeking through. Highball is a super, super bright, vibrant, punchy pink color. I will say that this one is more pigmented than the last one, Sunday, but it is still patchy and kind of sheer and it has some bald spots when applying it. Mars is very similar to the last one I showed you, Highball, except this one is a little bit darker. It has a little bit more red in it. This one is also a little bit smoother. It's not quite as patchy or streaky or sheer. Seesaw is a really pretty light, kind of like a lavender, dusty, whitish, pinky type color. This one does get pretty cracky. While it is pretty opaque, it does crack and crease in your lips. Koala is a very, very light, but still very bright lavender purple color. This one is a little streaky, and this one definitely settles into all of the lines in your mouth. Drive-In is a really pretty pinky purple magenta color. This one is actually really smooth and really pigmented. I could actually recommend this one. I really love this color. Lychee is another purple, but this one is definitely a darker, more deep, type purple. This one is also really beautiful. It goes on super smoothly, super opaque, looks really gorgeous on the lips. Zipper is another purple, but this one is definitely the darkest, most grape type purple. Another really beautiful one goes on super smoothly and opaquely. ColourPop really did a good job with the purples in this collection versus a lot of the other shades. Creeper is a pretty red color. I will say I was expecting a lot more from this color looking at it in the tube. It looks super, super bright in the tube, but on the lips, it goes on a little bit more deep. It's okay, it's not my favorite red, but it is not super patchy or anything, so it does look pretty upon application. Tool is a dark brown rosy color. This one looks really pretty on my skin because it's just a couple shades darker than my natural skin tone and it has a little bit of rosiness in it. I know my swatches are looking a little now. I have really, really stained, like I have a stain ring around my lips, but I really like this color. Limbo is like a chocolate brown color. There is no rosy tones in this brown. It is straight up brown. I never would have thought I would have liked a color like this, but for some reason I'm actually digging it. I actually really love it. And the formula is really nice on this one as well. Avenue is a dark brick red with a strong brown undertone to it. This one has another really fantastic formula. It goes on super opaque, smooth, pigmented, not patchy. This is another color I could actually recommend. Are you guys ready for the last color? I am ready ready for the last color. This one is LAX and this is a very, very dark brown color with a little bit of red in it. 
super beautiful this one also goes on really nicely not streaky or patchy which is pretty surprising for a dark color like this I like this one a lot. So I hope those lip swatches were helpful to you guys. Please, please thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed it. I also want to note that these lip products don't have any sort of scent or taste to them, which is always appreciated. I would say if you're still interested in testing out this formula, go for it. Give it a try. But I would say don't splurge and get like five or ten of them. Maybe just try one or two to see how you like it first before you splurge on a lot because I do regret kind of getting the whole collection. I know that if I had seen another review video before these officially launched and that person said what I said about them being super drying and kind of flaky, I probably would have only picked up, I don't know, ten or so. I probably wouldn't have gotten the entire collection. So. This is just kind of my opinion and just a warning and kind of giving you guys a heads up. I feel like not enough YouTubers are honest about things anymore. But that is a whole other story and a whole other little rant to go through. But I know it's hard to trust a lot of YouTubers' opinions and I know a lot of you guys do trust mine, which makes me feel so happy and so humbled and you guys have no idea how amazing it feels when someone says they wait to buy something until I review it because my opinion means that much. That's definitely one of the nicest things that anybody has ever said to me. So thank you guys so much for your support and I hope that this very honest review video will help you guys. Now with all of that being said, let me know if you guys have actually tried out these liquid lipsticks and what you guys think of them because like I said different products work differently for different people and I'm just here giving you guys my opinion and my experience with them I will not be purchasing any more colors in the future unless Colourpop changes the formula or something like that but with this formula I'm pretty disappointed in it so thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video on Monday I'll see you then Bye. The biggest launch that Buxom has done in a really, really long time. Start off with the big guns. Do I have a boyfriend? Am I in a relationship? Am I dating somebody?